Dana Kirk, and he's assisted by Larry Finch, who played on that great team that went to the final game against UCLA right here at Memphis State, and also by Lee Fowler, who was an all-conference player in the Southeastern Conference at Vanderbilt University. Both of them have been here five years, as has Dana Kirk. Baskerville Holmes gets the roll. The assistants at Oral Roberts are Greg Miser and a guy named John Block, who had a pretty good career, John, in the NBA. Fine player, many times. Holmes has 13. Well above his average. He's averaging only 4.6. 71-65, a six-point lead. Plenty of time left. Still 5.52 on the clock. Potter, he'll take it from the corner and won't go. Haynes came up with it. Now Potter underneath to Mark Akers. Beautiful pass by Potter. Potter's still not really shooting that outside shot like he normally does. Two Tigers that time with the rebound, and they wound up losing it. They go high. Home using the glass. Mark Akers for home. Mark Akers thought he had the ball, John, but all of a sudden he was not there. He didn't have the ball, and it cost him the lay in at the other end. 5-16 to play. 73-67. Memphis State by six. They come back with good offensive board work. They take it inside. They make a steal. This is a tough team. Lee, Lee low. Lays it in. The money. The franchise. 26 for Keith Lee. Coming off a 35-point game last Saturday in the championship of the Metro Conference. Eight-point lead again. Mark Akers. and his frustration has picked up his fourth personal foul. They got it inside to him and right here. A little shot from about 10 feet. He has struggled really shooting the ball from about 10 or 12 feet because he's always had somebody in his face. Look at Bedford jumping at him right there. That makes it tough and it makes you raise the arc of your shot just enough that it goes to the back side of that ring and that's what happened. It bounced off and he fouled from the rear and Memphis State will shoot one and one. 4.31 to play, 75-67. We will be shooting from here on out. Jeff Akers checks in, Miles goes out. Baskerville Holmes on the line, it's three for three tonight. So Baskerville definitely makes my all name team. First game here, Louisiana Tech. Defeating Fresno State 66-56. From behind, Turner stripped it. But it'll still be Oral Roberts basketball. 429 remaining here at the Mid-South Coliseum. Memphis State 76. Oral Roberts 67. Coliseum. I'm John Sanders along with Joe Dean. We have 429 to play. Memphis State by nine. They led by 12 at halftime. Some outstanding routines performed by the uh, Pom Pom Girls and the Tigers of Memphis State. They're having a good time here. Full house, 11,200 at the Mid-South Coliseum. First round game, NCAA Midwest Regional. The winner of this one moves on to play Purdue here on Saturday. Baskerville Holmes with a career high 16 points tonight. You can see what they've done here in the second half. Oral Roberts, 50%. Memphis State, very effective, 63%. They haven't really put it up that much. Just 19. They've had nine, 11 less shots than Oral Roberts. Mark Akers. Foul is called underneath on Bedford. They said he didn't get there in time, and Mark Akers will go to the line and shoot two. Here he comes. He's the trailer coming down the gut. Close call. Very close. About that much difference between the lock and the charge. It's got to be the toughest call. You know, I asked official that the other day, and you know what he said to me? The toughest call in basketball he told me was the walking call. And he mentioned the block in charge and the goal tending is the next two. He the toughest calls to make. And all three are difficult calls. Mark Akers, five for five now at the foul line. 25 points in the game. 
Six for six. Good foul shooting. His dad's biting his fingernails, looking for a steal, looking for a chance to get back in here. They're down seven. They still have time. 4-10 to play in the game. Holmes looks inside. Gives it up to Haynes. Doom Haynes. Back to Turner. Exactly four minutes remaining. Dorsey squeezed in and committed the foul. It's Jeff Akers inside who's trying to handle Keith Lee at this point. Three on Charles Dorsey, a junior from Pasadena, California. Was not here at the start of the season. Joined the team after the semester in December. Saw him reach in and commit the foul. That will put Doom Haynes on the line. For Dana Kirk, he's two for two tonight. Dana Kirk has actually coached as a head coach 13 years and is at 221 wins. Just 131 losses. We gave you some of the other scores. Richmond, West Virginia, UNLV, Temple, Louisiana Tech among the teams advancing today. Every game close. Every game one point, two points. We had a 10-point game here, but it was much closer than that in the first one. As Louisiana Tech knocked off Fresno State. So Haynes gets both. 78-69. Back to that nine-point lead. Potter shot from the side. Again, it won't go. Good rebound by Bedford. He has been very, very impressive tonight. Potter just has never really got it on track. And as much as anything, I think. His inability to really stick it in because he's been scoring so well has hurt this attack because he is their perimeter shooter. You're exactly right. Go, go, go. Turner, they're in no hurry with 3.20 to play, leading by nine. Go, go, go. Lee, ah, uh, turn around, won't fall. Loose ball, picked up by Haynes, his jump shot. Lee keeps it alive. Now Hall Roberts has it. Dorsey will push it up. Potter uses the glass to score. Sam now has nine points. Good transition. They picked it up off the floor, turned it into a three-on-two break, and made it happen, and they just keep hanging in, hanging in. They have fought from behind this entire game, and they trail right now by seven. Dorsey will be called for the foul. That'll be four on Charles. Be a good move at this point on Oral Roberts to really go for the steal. If they can get it, great. If they can't, put them on the line and see if Memphis State can beat them from there because Memphis State is not a great free throw shooting team. Just 67 and a half percent on the year. The time is a factor now, and it's working against Oral Roberts. Turner makes his first opportunity at the line. He has nine points in the game. 2.41 remaining. 79-71 is our score. You mentioned the fact that Oral Roberts has been fighting from behind almost the entire ball game. Now, one of the other key factors in this game, obviously, has been the size. I mean, Keith Lee and William Bedford inside. They've just been too much for Jeff Akers, Sam Potter, and Mark Akers to handle on a regular basis. I was a little surprised that somewhere along the way, uh, John, and maybe the early of the first half, that they didn't just take a look at it, a zone defense, to see could they pack it in a little bit to maybe shut down some of the inside action and and force some outside shooting by Memphis State. And I'm sure, of course, that's why we're over here and Dick Akers is over there. He knows his personnel. He knows his people. And I'm sure he has his reasons and he knows what his matchups are and what he wanted to do. But I was a little surprised he didn't take a look at it because as we talked about throughout the game, the inside game of Memphis State was just absolutely incredible. And Bedford's been a seven-footer. He's going to be a star. He's not, he's not good. He's going to be a star. And Keith Lee, of course, you expect him to have the great game, and he had another good one. Memphis State is 11 of 18 at the foul line for the game. BYU leading UAB 72-63. That's in the second half. BYU ahead of 
Alabama Birmingham. That's a little bit of a surprise to me because they're playing on the University of Alabama at Birmingham's home court there in Birmingham, Alabama. And Kentucky Saturday will play the winner of that game. Two minutes, 41 seconds left here at the Mid-South Coliseum. Winner of this game plays Purdue. The other matchup has Houston against Louisiana Tech. An interesting matchup, too, because Malone says he's, he's dying to go against Hakeem Olajuwon. That'll be a great matchup here on Saturday. Of course, this Memphis State team, they'll take on Purdue, who tied for the Big Ten Championship. Dorsey uses the board. He has 14 points in the game, 79-73. Still 2.25 to play. Turner beats the pressure, gives it up to Haynes. Go for the steal. You get it great, you don't foul. Put him at the line. That's got to be the strategy right now. They've got to do it. Go get it. He did. Good. Potter picks up the foul. Let's see if it's one and one or two. One and one. I like the strategy, John. It has, it's the only chance they've got. They need too many baskets to get back. Look at Potter running it, trying to get the ball. He didn't get any foul. It's a good foul. Baskerville Holmes has had an outstanding game for him. Career highs. 16 points and 11 rebounds. Baskerville is at the line. Not a good foul shooter. But I'll tell you what. All he did there was just, I don't think it touched iron. I call that string music. He's made five out of six. Six out of seven. Got them both. What a game he's had, a career high. He's been tremendous on the boards, and he shot the ball well, and he's given his team a big lead. Back to that eight-point lead. Circle jumper. Akers rebounds and scores. Mark Akers, he's put up a gallant fight. He's got 28 points. He has fought it. I mean, the entire game. They were in a zone that time, Memphis State. Nobody blocked him out. He just drifted through, got the offensive board, and put it in. 81 75 with a minute and 46 seconds to play. Go after the ball. Don't put Keith Lee at the line, but as soon as he gives it up, go get it. Good foul. Jeff Akers, number four on him. It comes with a minute and 39 seconds remaining. 81-75 Memphis. John, you can see the coaching over there. Akers has made the comments, Coach Dick Akers. Whenever Bedford gets it, he's shooting 53%. Let's go get him. Whenever Baskerville Holmes gets it, he's 59%. Let's go get him. But Baskerville Holmes, he hadn't played the role very well. No, he's six out of seven. Bedford has missed his only opportunity at the line tonight. Game he's in also and in the clutch. And that's a new career high for the freshman, 19 points. He looks good to me. He's good. Like 20 points. it to Turner. He'll take it all the way. The basket goes. Beautiful. I started to say on Darcy they call that a fumble. That's why it wasn't double dribble. Andre Turner just a beautiful move coast to coast to make it happen. Watch him play a little dipsy doodle here as he goes underneath the defensive man just as he's hit. He gets hit right there but he hangs. Good body control. He goes to the glass and brings it home and this home crowd they love it. They're cheering Baskerville Holmes, who celebrates on the bench. His best game ever. 18 points for him. Doom Hayes comes out. Baskerville Holmes finishes with 18 points, 11 rebounds. Career highs in both categories. Turner can't complete the three-point play. Ten points. Memphis State lead. Dorsey cuts it to eight. They quickly take a timeout. Dorsey with 16 points, a minute and 15 seconds remaining. It is Memphis State, 85, Oral Roberts, 77. Memphis State by eight. We head down the stretch. A minute and 15 seconds to go. Keith Lee, a big night, 26 points for him. Baskerville Holmes, 18. William Bedford had 20. On the other side of the ledger, Mark Akers with 28 points. 
His brother Jeff Akers with 14 points tonight. Those are the leading individual scores in the contest. It's been an overall outstanding effort, I think, for Memphis State. They were able to do the thing that they knew they had to do, which was go low. That was their plan, obviously, from the beginning, and it worked to perfection. Well, Memphis State knew that, as you say, John, and you're very accurate because the entire game, at least 96, 97 percent of it, all Roberts has been the straight man-to-man -man defense, and they were able to do some things that they wanted to do throughout, and it worked, and it paid dividends because Bedford and Lee have had the big game. McGee with his first personal foul. Memphis State will go down to the line and shoot one and one. Not much you can do about it from a coaching standpoint. Memphis State, an excellent team, and they have executed their game plan very well. They really missed Bobby Parks. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, Derek Phillips was a starter, but to be honest, uh, William Bedford at seven feet really gives this team a very special dimension. Andre Turner now has 12 points. Trying to push the lead back to 10. We can't do it. Potter from outside. It's been his problem all night. He hasn't been getting it to fall. Exactly a minute to play. Keith Lee stepped out of bounds. And Potter has had the shots, too. No question about it. And his rhythm looks good. He, his shot looks good. It's just not dropping. He's been right there all night. But you can have those nights. And Sam Potter has had that kind of a night. He was the MVP in the tournament during the year, uh, and just recently when they beat Xavier for the championship. Bradford with a block. That's five. He just keeps doing it. And at both ends of the court. Dorsey again, 86-79. Albright scores. John Albright gets his first basket, 88-79. 37 seconds to go. Potter with a drive. Jeff Akers with a rebound. Jeff Akers again. This time he's fouled. Two acres, boys, I'll tell you, Mark and Jeff have given it about everything you can give it. They were a little outmanned in size underneath, and it was, you mentioned it earlier, and it was just a struggle for them the entire game. In spite of that, they've scored, and they have fought this thing right to the buzzer. And this team, as we mentioned, they clawed and clawed. They could never catch up. They had a chance once when they cut it to four on a missed shot. If it had got the board to come down and cut it to two as close as they came the entire game. I want to say a special thank you to the tournament manager, Dick Sander, NCAA representative, Frank Windiger, tournament media coordinator, Phil Cannon, athletic director, Larry Cochelle of ORU, and basketball coach, Dick Akers, and the sports information director, Don Ott, for helping us out. We couldn't do it without all the help they give us. Jeff Akers now has 16 points. From Memphis State, athletic director, Charles Carbonaro, and basketball coach, Dana Kirk, his staff, and the sports information director, Phil Cannon. Thanks to all of those people for their help as we count down toward the end of this doubleheader tonight. The matchups for Saturday, Louisiana Tech against Houston. And it'll be Memphis State moving into the next round, the second round of the NCAA championships against Purdue. 24 seconds left. About all you can do. Jeff is fouled out. Finishes with 16 points. He'll be back next year. You can bet that ORU is going to beat a lot of people again. John Albright has had a, an elbow problem that's bothered him all year long, but he's a diving, scrapping, hustling type player. His dad is a judge in the state of North Carolina. He gets both foul shots. Four points for him. 90, 81. Albright comes up with the ball. He'll be fouled. So we'll walk back to the other end with 16 seconds to play. Memphis State moving on to meet Purdue here at the Mid-South Coliseum on Saturday. 
I'm sure they'll have another sellout crowd, 11,200 in this building. So another great effort for Keith Lee coming off a 35 point game last Saturday in the Metro Championship game. BYU 84, UAB 68. So BYU joins the winner's parade. 84 68 over UAB. Other winners, Louisiana Tech here in this building, Richmond, Temple, West Virginia, UNLV. All moving on to the second round of the 1984 NCAA Championships. Kevin McGee on the sideline. Albright now has five points. Steve Harper in the lineup. There you can see the leading scores. Mark Ace, Mark Akers with 828. Dorsey with 18. And of course, the big ball game from Keith Lee. Brown shot. Kip Brown, the freshman from Los Angeles. Five seconds left in the game. Albright at the buzzer. No basket. It did not count. The game had ended. Albright trying to record a career high eight points. There you see Dana Kirk, Dick Akers. Congratulations to both of those fine coaches for the job to get here. And a congratulations to Memphis State. Winners tonight, 92 to 83. Here's how the game ended. It'll ring up zero before Albright takes it up so he does not get credit for the basket. 92 to 83. That's the final score. We're not finished yet. We will be back to the Mid-South Coliseum in just a minute. Right now, Memphis State 92. ORU.